Florida woman could be serving up to 30 years in prison behind some stolen eyeglasses worth up to 20,000. Y'all watch this video. This is surveillance video of career shoplifter Ernisha Atmore at work using a cooler to scoop up designer sunglasses she has no plans to pay for. She committed one of the most brazen thefts that I've ever heard of. She went into the sunglass hut at International Plaza and she had a soft-sided cooler. And she just scooped her arm and put about $20,000 worth of sunglasses into that cooler. And you and heard what she said, brazen robbery. She just walk around the store picking sunglasses up like she's picking apples or something. No sense of urgency, like she's doing some regular shopping. Y'all keep watching. And when they said, the employee said, what are you doing? She said, I have a taser. Well, a taser, as you know, is a weapon. She was busted. They found some stolen goods in her car, which was collected in evidence bags. She has been in and out of prison for a string of theft convictions. As a repeat offender, she is now facing stiffer penalties and decades in prison. Now is all starting to make sense. In different states, they do have a stiffer penalty for repeat offenses and just certain crimes that you do. But 30 years, I was trying to think like, where did they get that from? Let's continue the video and find Prison. out. Prosecutors offering her a three-year deal, but she rejected it. Instead, a jury convicted her, and she was sentenced to 30 years in prison. That's because the state of Florida has taken a very tough stance on retail theft. But before she was sent away, she had two more theft cases to settle, including this one. The defendant entered the Zales at the Brandon Town Center Mall tried on a ring that it had a value of $8,749.99, placed the ring on her left finger and proceeded towards the exit. And while they tacked on more time behind bars, she smiled for the camera. Boy, boy ain't no way, boy. Where do I begin? First of all, you have two more cases that you still have open and you out here just thieving your life away. You know, some people get to a point where they feel like there's no light at the end of the tunnel or they feel like there's no hope so why should i be a good person but that does nothing but drag you farther and farther away from the life that you really should have and now because of a plea deal that you chose not to take and your lack of knowledge you could be serving up to 30 years and you know what most people would say she deserved that let her sit behind bars and figure it out I do feel like you need to learn a lesson and maybe do some time. I don't know if 30 years is the sentence that you deserve, but y'all comment down below your thoughts about this whole situation. Does she deserve 30 years? Should they hit her with a lighter sentence? Or are you biased? This your guy CEO Samuel. We out.